So today I want to talk to you about sourdough in your drain, whether that be from your sourdough discard, your starter, um, washing out your bowls, washing your hands, anything like that. So on Instagram, I was told by um, several well-meaning people that they were told that sourdough is actually beneficial for their septic because of the bacteria in the sourdough. And I'm here to tell you that that is completely inaccurate and false. Um, basically sourdough, I mean, you can test it out yourself, you know, leave sourdough in your jar for a long time, it turns into essentially cement. And so over time, when you keep dumping that down your drain, there really isn't enough beneficial bacteria in your sourdough starter that would benefit your drain. Um, and, it, and it really doesn't actually make it all the way to the septic. It just sort of accumulates in your pipes and it hardens and it accumulates and it hardens and it accumulates and it attracts. It, uh, you know, sticks on to other food that will get stuck in your pipes. And I only know this because I did all of that. And I was, you know, also one of those people that was dumping sourdough in the drain. And, you know, we had a huge clog in one of our pipes and we pulled out massive clumps of sourdough from our drain. So basically what that taught me was that as I was going through my sourdough process, and I was never even someone that would dump my discard down the drain. Like I never ever like physically dumped sourdough down the drain but it was just from washing it off my hands, washing it out of my bowls, scraping it out of my jars, like all of that just slowly accumulates. So just like as an example, that is what all came off of my hands just mixing up my dough today. All of that, if I was to wash it off my hands, and like I understand that's drier because there's a bit of flour on it, um, but that would all end up in my drain pipe. And to be perfectly honest, a lot of the time when you're mixing up dough, there's very little bacteria in that because you're freshly mixing up a lot of flour with a little bit of sourdough. And so when you're washing that out of your bowls and off your hands, it's going down into your drain. So I guess long story short, you need to make sure that you're properly cleaning all of your, your hands and your bowls and everything before you put them in the sink to wash them so that, um, you know, you're not washing it down the drain. Originally I felt a little bit silly, um, making this video, but it seems like there's a lot of people who are unsure, um, and I didn't know even way back, they're unsure that you're not allowed to, you know, you're not supposed to dump it down the drain, especially if you have a septic. If you have a garbage disposal, then you're probably fine. Um, you know, you can, you, it's, it's different, it works differently. For anyone who has a septic, please be mindful of not dumping your sourdough down the drain. If you have discard that you don't wanna use, um, you know, I always end up using mine, but if you have discard that you don't wanna use, it's better off putting it into the garbage. So I'm gonna show you how I do my hands when I'm making my dough and how I do my bowls and my jars and you know, all of that stuff. So um, yeah, let's get started. Okay, first let's start with the tools that you're using in your bowl. So I get about this far and then I need to use my hands to mix my dough. But obviously I'm gonna have a lot of dough left on my dough hook. So I always wet my hands and you can basically pull most of the dough from the dough hook with exception of like a little bit and that's okay to soak in. But if you wanna get it all off, you just a little bit of water and it comes right off and then back into your bowl. The next thing is I always use water on my hands when I'm mixing up my dough. And so every time it starts to get really sticky which is inevitable when you're first mixing up dough because the gluten isn't developed yet. So it is going to be quite sticky. You're going to end up getting dough on your hand. So you're going to do the same thing. Wet your other hand, pull the dough off, wet the hand again, and go back in. And that kind of eliminates a lot of dough on your hands. Okay, so my dough is mixed up and I have quite a bit of flour on my hand. So I'm going to just take some flour and I'm going to, I usually keep just like an empty bowl. So you can put a little bit of flour on your hands and you're going to use the flour to basically pull the sourdough off your hands. And I'm, I mean, I don't know, I'm sure everybody knows this, but it works really nicely. It just sort of like balls up because the less hydrated the dough is on your hands or anywhere, um, you know, the easier it's going to be 
sort of like smoother and kneadable. So you can add just little bits of flour all over your hands. It's almost like you're washing your hands with flour. And then, you know, what happens is when you go wash your hands in the sink, all that's not coming off and going into your drain. So while I understand we did add some flour to that, you know, technically that all comes off your hands and washes down your drain. So I do my very best to get as much of the flour off my hands. And now I can go wash that with soap and water and I don't have to really worry about a lot of dough getting into my pipes or going down the drain. With this, so we did our dough hook. We're gonna have to wash that. Um, I will take a spoon and spoon that off. But what I try to do with my uh, jars is I try to get a spatula in there and I like to scoop out as much of the sourdough as I possibly can. And then what I do with that is I'll just stick that right in the garbage can. So I'll put it in that bowl right there for now. But then yes, there's a little bit in there and I will probably even go back in and try to get those bits in the corners. Um, but this isn't a lot to go down the drain, especially if you're going to put a lot of water in the jar. So that's, you know, that's fine. Um, I like to do this when it's wet because once that hardens on there, it's like cement. So, um, and it's really difficult to get off because it's a jar. So I like to do this when it's wet. So as soon as I put my uh, leaven into my dough, or as soon as I feed my sourdough starter, I like to go right in and scoop out all the wet sourdough starter and then wash my jar out. So I got a, like another second spatula here. I'm just gonna go around the edges. And this does take a while to accumulate in your pipes, but I promise it does accumulate. Okay, so that's, that's good enough. And I will, that will go into the garbage, what I just did over there, and we'll wash that up. So as a really quick way with your bowls, um, I will show you kind of how I scrape mine out uh, later on. But if you're going around right now, you'll notice that a lot of the dough that's along the outside is still quite wet. So I'll take my fingers and I'll just scrape that. You can use a scraper as well, but I'll just scrape that kind of off um, before I go in and like work with my dough again. And as your dough develops in gluten, it really shouldn't leave a lot behind in your bowl. So as you kind of work with your dough um, and scrape down the sides of your, of your bowl, then there really shouldn't be a lot of dough left in the bowl after you're finished your bread recipe. I will show you the tool that I use um, if I still have some residue left in the bowl. This probably would be fine to wash out. I mean, I don't like getting super anal, um, but because we had issues before with our pipes, I try to be a little bit more diligent with it. So this is just a large cast iron scraper. And so if I was finished with my dough, let's pretend that I'm done with my bulk ferment and that's gone into the banatins and I'm ready to clean my bowl. I just go around the outside and scrape off um, as much of the dough as I possibly can. It takes two seconds, like it doesn't take long at all. And then you kind of go around and just grab those little bits of dough and put them with your paper towel in your other bowl. And you know, then I would soak that and clean it out and it's you know ready to go. Okay, so other tools that I use, um, one of these scrubbers, I get them locally. I'm not actually sure where you can order them, but um, they work really well for scrubbing sourdough off of your countertops. And then I also use this. So, so I go and just scrape off my counter and it doesn't get all of it. And then I usually just use like dry paper towel to kind of come around behind it and get as much of that off the counter as I can and right into the garbage. But then this is really helpful if you have anything kind of like left on there, you can go around and just scrape it off and kind of just use it as like a, like a cloth. And then again, come behind it. You can use some soap and water on this too if you're worried about anything, you know, 
I guess if you have like a wooden countertop, sometimes I'll spray it with some soap and water uh, and come behind it like this. But it comes off the counters really well and you can just kind of like swish it right off into the garbage and not your sink. So basically with sourdough, the name of the game is don't dump it down your sink if you have a septic system. So definitely don't dump your discard or your starter directly down the sink, but also really making sure that everything is cleaned up before you start soaking things in the sink. Cause you'd be surprised, like it doesn't seem like a lot when it's all around the outside of the bowl, but then when you soak it, it's like, it's quite a large clump that ends up going down your drain. And it takes a while to accumulate, but it does accumulate and it does cause problems in your pipes and in your septic. So making sure that you're scraping out your bowls, you're washing off your hands or um, scraping off your hands before you're washing them in the sink and then doing your best to not let your sourdough go down the drain and you'll be good to go.